John the Baptist used to tell his listeners that God would be angry at those who are on the wrong path. But he did not seem to know that God takes the initiative with a love that saves those who are not worthy. It was Jesus who showed us this. Actually, John the Baptist was quite worried about Jesus because John expected the Messiah to destroy bad people, but Jesus did not do so. Jesus did recognize John the Baptist as the one who paved the way for him, for Jesus. But when John, while in prison, sent messengers expressing John's doubts about Jesus, Jesus sent the messengers back, pointing to the fruits of Jesus' own healing and forgiveness ministry. And he also gave them this mysterious blessing. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. Blessed are we who do not close our hearts to Jesus Christ. This surely is the main meaning of faith, opening our hearts in trust. Jesus' ministry of healing and forgiveness shows us, if we want to see, that opening our hearts to God in trust results in wonderful forgiveness and wonderful healing. Spiritual ears and spiritual eyes are opened. The spiritually dead come to life. The spiritually poor have the good news brought to them. The kingdom of God, always within reach, is now our home. Maybe this is what the prophet Isaiah, over 700 years earlier than John or Jesus, was foreseeing in a symbolic way. The internal healing, the seeing, the fullness of life when lived in Christ, the divine life on earth, a time of deep peace and joy. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom, the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy, for waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. <laughs>